Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. Today we will learn something about engraving images on painted glass. Important for glasses to run it fast, with low power. I engrave these images with 500 mm per second and 12% power, on my 80 watt CO2 laser. So, let's go. Before we start with the image preparation I will paint the glass. So it can dry while we do the next step. I used normal matte black acrylic paint for this. It is important to completely coat it evenly, so we don't get any light spots. Now we move over to imageart.com and upload our image. The steps are pretty much the same as usual. After upload I will resize my image. I will make the image a little bit smaller than the glass, so the frame won't cover any of it. 231 dpi is the perfect value for my laser. If you're unsure about your DPI watch the video in the top right corner. I use always the CO22 algorithm for my glass works, but you can use any other as well. For me I get the best results with this one. Now I will save the image as BMP file, that's basically everything I have to do. Let's do the same procedure again, with this image. There's absolutely no difference to the first, so I will speed it up a little. I will open my laser software, in my case already works, and import the save BMP file. I will draw a rectangle with the exact same size as my glass has, and change it to cut mode. Next step is to use as low power and as much speed as possible. We need this rectangle only to position our glass later. For the image I will change the speed to 500 mm per second and 12% power, for my 80 watt CO2 laser. I will change the step size, also interval called, to 0.11 mm, since this is the correct step size for my 231 dpi. That's everything in the software for now. Now I will use a white piece of paper which is larger than my glass. To make sure it will keep in position, I will fix it with some tape on the edges. I will run a rectangle cut layer, but obviously not the engraving part. Remove the loose piece of paper and place your painted glass in the empty area. Make sure the painted side is facing up, because we want to engrave the paint away, and also etch the glass slightly. Also it makes sense to control your distance to the glass, so your laser is focused correctly. I already did that before. Now let's remove the cut layer, and run the engraving part. On my CO2 this took about 8 minutes. As you see, it looks already pretty good. In theory you could put a paper in the back of it, and put it in the frame, but I want to color it again later. But before, I will prepare the car as well to paint them together. So I turned my rectangle 90 degrees, and made another cutout. In theory, you could skip this step if your glass dimension is the same as the other before. Let's remove the loose paper parts and place the glass in the right position. Since the car is smaller, this step took around 6 minutes. You can also see that the glass from the car isn't painted perfectly. There are a few light spots, but this will not be an issue. You won't recognize it if it's not too much. You can also clean the engraved side with a little bit of water before you paint it again. But be aware, make sure the glass is completely dry before painting. The last step is to paint the already black painted side again with your favorite color, in my case I will use gold. Let's do the same with the car, and now wait until it is completely dry, before you move it at all. If you would move it now, some of the paint will get underneath the glass and is on the front, and it is a pain and unnecessary work to remove that later. So, be patient. As you see, I am really happy how they turned out. It is quite difficult to take a photo of glass images without mirroring anything on the glass, obviously. So, I am sorry for the weird camera angle, but they turned out really good. Also the color is in real way more golden as on the pictures here. I hope you learned something and test this on your own someday. 
Lass is really awesome and easy to work with, so give it a go. You won't regret it. Also, you won't regret subscribing our YouTube channel and liking this video, to never miss out any of these awesome tutorials in future. If you have any cool ideas for videos and tutorials, let us know in the comments, would be really appreciated. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.